Welcome to, to, to my stream for our radio. Y'all, I got a guest. We're going to talk about polygamy and what it's like in the United States. And we're talking to a man from, where are you from? West Africa. Guinea, West Africa. Okay, and he's in the United States. And his experience is that, it's an, um, where, where's this girl from? San Lucia. San Lucia. Yeah. And she wants to, she agrees with a polygamous lifestyle. She wanted to, she never experienced it before, but since like, after hearing from my background and just like just hearing where I come from, it's hobby and curiosity. And she liked females already, so she brought the idea a couple times on having a polygamous relationship. But what do you think? Because, like how you said, if a man in Africa want to have a polygamous family, he can't think about sex, right? He got to think about the family unit. If he want it, if he's doing it the right way, right? But see, see your female, your girlfriend, would do it the wrong way. She will, but she'll do it in the perspective of an American mentality as a powerhouse combining incomes together, blah blah blah. blah and that. Just like some men in Africa are doing it for selfish reasons. Oh wow! Because they use the system as like, okay, I can marry more than one wife, so really, really, I do what I want. I don't have to concern none of my wife. She ain't got no choice. She can be miserable. I don't care. She don't want to listen. She can leave. Wow! I married another one. Wow! So it's a lot of unhappy women in Africa right now turn their husband with multiple women. And it's, wow. it's not their choice. My mom is one of them. She's been married for over 20 years. Still don't like it. Wow. Yeah. And she accepted the lifestyle of she and her husband to make a bigger family for a better family for you. She was confided. Because she got a divorce. It's religiously, re religiously not condoned. You know, West, most of West Africa is Islamic too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So they have the Islamic mentality. Mentality. And her dad had five wives. Her grandpa had five wives. The grandpa before that probably had more. You know, and, and some, it's for selfish reasons, you think? Most of the time, but for some of the reasons, for some time, it's to, like it's used to keep families together. Like I said, like I might be the first. I am the first son, right? I, I might be married, and my I have like five wives with my wife. And uh, let's say I die, and my brother might inherit my wife. To keep the family together. I've heard of that, right? Yeah, right. That also happens. Now in the Ameri in the United States, that is ridiculous. But yeah. I've heard in other countries that makes sense. But in the, the the United States, people say like, why would a brother take hold to his sister in law kids as a family? You That's know what, what I, mean? I said to well, see, my sister did that. Right. My sister went to school in England. She's still in England right now, right? Her husband died, so she came to New York to marry his little brother. Then she broke to it down keep the to family me. together. Yeah. And I'm like, but okay, it looked like would rather, incest. Would you rather have? It don't look like incest because you're not related to that female. Right, but in a way, you are through marriage. Through marriage, you are. But right. incest is only condemned because of genetic codes. Exactly, exactly. I'm, yeah, but in America, we look at that like mother-in-law, father-in-law is related. DNAs, if DNAs are not tied together, exactly, you have no. Exactly, I know that's what's and, you know, you know what's really, you know, this might really might be out of subject. I was talking to a friend about this yesterday. You probably don't even pay attention to this, right? And like, what's really, you know, America is like to look at incest as a taboo. But if you look at like white porn in America these days, like white porn, pornography, uh -huh. it's a lot of incest, like skits in there, like stepmom, stepsister. Oh wow, thing. okay. So they might they're condoning it, but they're advertising it, they're sexualizing it, over sexualizing it throughout the years. Like the internet is full of that right now. Wow. So it's all brainwashing propaganda. They like to. Europeans like to set a standard as far as like this is our standard, this is how you act, this is ethical. But behind closed doors, it's a lot of sickness going on that they cannot even contend with themselves. Wow. So that's some problems that you see with like sexuality and feminism. See, black feminism and white feminism is totally two different things. They're that's fighting, what I thought. They're Just fighting this for weekend, two, I thought that. They're fighting for two different wow. things. The white woman <gasps> problem and the white female struggle is two different things. Okay. Especially in America. You okay. know? And a lot of people just get confused. But like the media and white America like to just wrap us all around in one yes. moment, but we not. Yeah. And that's why a lot of white 
wow. people feel superior to us. And right. a lot of it, even when you do the right thing, go to college, get your diploma, get right. your job. As a black person, you still feel empty in America, even when you're not oppressed. Right. Because you're not wow, submitted to you something that you're natural to. Yeah. You are forced into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're indoctrinated yeah. to fall to the system. Right. You don't have nothing else to choose from. And when you hear people like Young Pharaoh talking, they look at like black extremists because they're making black beautiful. They're making melanin work something. Right. Like, know right. Because knowledge is power. Yeah. So if they keep you blindfolded, you don't know where you're going. It's like the, it's like the race horse. They got the blind on the side for a reason. You just keep going one direction. Don't pay attention to what's next to you. How do you get this? And you're not from here. Did were you? Did you have this insight before you came here? Or did you come here to America? Like what the? Fuck? No, see, like oh my gosh, that's what I they try. Like, Cause you a, got it both a, ways. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a, that's a burden. It's it's a what's that beautiful ugly thing, fit, right? Yeah, exactly. I got the good and the bad, right? Yeah. The good and the ugly. Cause I don't fit nowhere. Right, I can go talk right. To African, right? They're gonna look at me Even like, Even though oh. we both black, yeah, we still totally different. But people yeah. look at us like when we check that box. Even in you're Africa, African -American. if I go to Africa, they're gonna look at me like a totally different person. They might think I'm Americanized, but I never had an American experience. See, when you come from both sides of the spectrum, you get to sit back a little bit. You're like, whoa, they taught me this here and they taught me this here. But really, this is what it really is. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? You, right. You add both things together. Then you really oh look at the gosh. truth. Right. And it just it makes you so long. Like, it's it's a struggle. You know? But polygamy is healthy if it works right. If it works right. But you only believe it's healthy if it's one male and many women. What about many males and one woman? See, many men and one woman is only practiced in one place in the world. Where? Bangladesh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to Bangladesh. Bangladesh. And no. Honestly, though. And I, and I've asked. I know it don't seem right, though. And I, you know, and I've asked all the African men about this question. I'm like, okay. So you're jumping from female to female. You know, there's a not all these females got the same origin, obviously. There's a question of like not even S. Days or like passing infections around, but you, they're your wife, so you have them protect the sex with everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure that's a problem, too. Nothing I've experienced, but that question always came to my mind like, are these women like just pH fluctuating everywhere where you share like somebody else's stuff two weeks after your husband come back to you? Right, blah blah blah. blah they're like, what is really going on? Right, is it scientifically, you know, proper. To have them protect the sex of more than one female on a regular basis. Right. You know? I don't know. And I always ask myself, like, most of these women's probably shitting on their husband while they're away. <laughs> there's a see, Islam and West African mentality, they did a lot in history to control women. Because most of these countries also practice FGM, which is like female genital mutilation. Oh my gosh, I yeah. read about that. So once you cut the clitoris. So you said it's women here in the United States from Africa in those situations. A lot of women in those situations. A lot of women come in America and follow asylum of, and got... Are you talking about Africa or Nigeria? Because I know a lot That's of women from Nigeria. When okay. I say West Africa, it's like Guinea. See, Nigerian and Guinean problem are two different problems. See, Nigeria is Anglo Africa. That's more higher, huh? No, Anglo means English, Anglophone. Okay. West Guinea is like Francophone Africa, right? Guinea Conakry. They got Equatorial Guinea, which is like Portuguese. Okay. Now they got Senegal, St. Lucia, which is like Creole. I mean, no, not St. Lucia, Kilverda. So all these countries are broke down by European imperialism and they all got different oh my problems. Oh gosh, no! Yeah. Even That's they, they, so confusing. It is confusing, right? So you have to be able to look at life in like a political aspect. Because the yes. oppressor, and I'm oh sorry to the rest of the sorry to the rest you of right, you right. The oppressor is white. So the white men came with a tactic, divide and conquer. Right. Don't forget that. Right. So they're hard to learn how to infiltrate us. So you take certain people with certain tribe, you give them one place. They speak the same language, so they can be a tribe, right? A tribe is a nation. Africa got multiple tribes. We don't know right. how to play this together. Right. But they came and separated us. Like in Nigeria, you got the Juruba, you know, 
and um, oh the my eboos, God. you know, just different stuff. Like in Guinea, they got the Mandingo, the Susu, the Pula, the Tonga, and they got a whole bunch of different peoples in there. And they're all from different racial backgrounds. And believe it or not, we might be all black, but I can enter them as an African and be like, oh, you're Fulani, you're Mandingo, you're Susu. Oh my just God. by looking at it. You know? That's horrible. But it's almost like in the United States, how black people are divided by uh, religion. Religion. A little bit. Skin color. Yeah, hair. And now yeah, it's more kind of like, the, like uh, social economic status. Really. Yeah, social economic status. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So you have been here for 21 years. No, no, 18. 18 years. Yeah. Wow. Are you college student? No. Only you one never went to college? Only one what? Year. Little for science. I realized school in America is to get you ready for the job. It's not about knowledge. You're going to like graduate with a bunch of debt. So it's not even worth it. What? Yeah. So what you decide to do? I've been Because you seem like you the type of person who figure things out. I, I read a lot. Okay. You know, knowledge is power. And power. You know, knowledge is information. You don't have to pay nobody to get information. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm that's realizing. True. And I was just telling him, I'm moving back to Africa in six months. Because I'm scared. You want now. that. I'm scared. I have a two year old daughter here, and it's just a whole different subject, right? Yeah. They got me paying $1,200 a month in child support. Yeah. You know, I'm not running from that, but it's the things that I got to go through. You're not going to demasculate me as a man. Thank you. To be in my daughter's life. And you got to brainwash black women that run to the government and be like, I got you by the board, and do whatever I want to do. And whenever you, when, like, say, I feel like my daughter's life is in danger you don't matter they're quick to incarcerate me about some dumb shit but I have to go to a whole different who used to prove to them that my daughter is not in their hands. They don't right. care. They don't care about so they're going to stall the system. In, in Africa? See, I don't agree with Thai either. Because their women ain't got no power. See, if I was in Africa right now, I could slash my kid from my baby mama. You know what I'm saying? How a family world with her family fuck them up. Excuse my language. Yeah. And police don't look at us like, oh, well, she trying to take the baby from the man? Then everyone will investigate. But it's a cultural fabric. Right. Hell yeah. Even though she carried out baby for nine months. Right. I, as a man, she I'm more no right. right. She got no right. And yeah. that's sad, and too. here is she have a lot of rights. She have a lot of rights. But, you know, you're very knowledgeable. It seems like you understand, too, how the welfare system built it up where I already know. the woman is stronger with the she man out of the house, house now. and you get a lot of money and you get a lot of support with the father is not in the house. Exactly. I mean, she got so a it's more house. support. She got a five-bedroom house. So it's like, go ahead, father. We're going to make it without you when yeah. that's illiterate. You know what I mean? That's, and that's exactly what I told her. I'm like, look, I'm staying here because of my daughter now don't get it messed up i did i went to all because she got me on a first accusation of domestic violence right knowing that i was in probation already i'm like okay you can play that hand now what i'm about to do next time i go look at these i'm gonna fire in their heart because i'm gonna play three cards first thing they do to a black man in america or any man in america really but most of the black men if you are not able to pay your child support they cancel your passport. Oh, wow. You cannot. If you oh, own, wow. If you that's own two wrong. dollars of child support, you cannot live. Oh, my country. gosh. That's a trap nobody talk about. For 18 wow. years in this country, I've never, ever applied for my citizenship. Wow. I've never applied for my citizenship. They mess with your passport because child support. Yeah. I never heard of that. If you got a felony, you can leave the country either, right? Wow. Yeah, now I've heard that. America loves to trap the citizen. The tax paying money is his number one value. Ooh, even though it's not being dispersed to you. So if I sit in front of the judge, be like, look, I am from a Francophone African country. And I know through this you and United States, I mean United Nations laws. If I'm I have to see my daughter for humanitarian rights for this this amount of time a year. And if you don't comply to this and law this child support, allow me to have full custody on my kid, at least partial custody, I will leave the country, you will not get a cent. Now she will be your baggage because you still gotta pay state right, money to her. Right. So now you're not Thank getting you. money from nobody. And I so know So what are you gonna do? Right. Cause she's still gonna get help with the baby because the government is gonna cover her. And you can you cannot censor me or stop me from getting out of this airport because I am not a US citizen. I'm a foreign official. Oh my So what God. are you gonna do? You have no jurisdiction authority. And because of the second amendment, you cannot lock me up as mad as you are at me, Your Honor. You cannot lock me up because I didn't break no law. I'm still on compliance with everything that FOC asked me. I'm just telling you that I'm going to leave your country and help you. Thank you. Oh my God. In a political way. Right. 
Oh my god! But again, what's press the press I'm gonna have to pay for that is being absent in my daughter. I know, I know, so way, I I'm know. Morally, I'm trapped. Yes, but here you won't see her because they're gonna eventually lock you up in prison. Exactly. Or you so gonna not? You gonna work so much and not, be able, be, not, be, able, not be able to see your money? I'm not gonna be able to be not do nothing. Right, and I never asked the lower child support, but they're getting me. She's so petty. She won't even let me get to weekends. Oh, I have to work. Like she wanted me to watch the kid on the weekends. She can get ratchet. And the judge agreed with that, knowing that I'm a chef. I just lost a contract for fifty five thousand dollars. Oh my god. If you're not a chef, if you're a chef, you're not present in your restaurant. You're worthless in the weekends. Right, exactly. Because that's where the money is at on the, the weekends. weekends, especially on Sundays. Oh my so, God! So that pain is there, but I thank God. This is a totally off subject, but that's not how you saw it. still recording this. I'm sorry. Yeah, Samaj so for our radio. Yo, what's up, y'all? They're like, it's um, <laughs> it's kind of heartbroken, but there's no other information that I know. So where do they do like, business? It's like, it's kind of liberating also. But it's the harsh truth that I've been given to me, right? So I'm using going back to Africa not to run away from something, but to do something. Because there I have a platform. I come from a political family. They might not be able to see things the way I do, but because of technology now, young Africa is waking up. Now I'm, a, I'm not going to waste these 18 years that I spent in America. Because if I leave the country, I'm not going to come back at all. I'm going to have to fight for that too. Right! So I'm using... I'm I'm trying to use my pain and my struggle to empower and open black people's mind. You don't have to survive this type of treatment. You are, you know, we come from a nation of wealth, kings and queens. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just our genetics alone is wealth. Uh, exactly. You know, but America, first of all, it's scientific. For a black person to be fully activated, you have to line up with the equator in certain type of level. That melanin, you know, that song got to hit you right. You have to charge up right, right? Black people in America are good, like they're raised docile. You feel like a caged lion all your life, but you have never been able to be. I to know, yourself, really. right. It's the struggle of a lot of young black men, you know? And what I'm seeing, I know people talking about, we got to fight white power. It's kind of becoming too late now. Cool. They are brainwashing the young kids. Yeah. 16 year old in America, kids don't even know how to feel up application and yeah. they want to make immigration a problem how come a young Social man can come media. from africa tomorrow and got a job with a 401 kid can barely speak english exactly exactly don't even have a green card yeah but you want to raise in a country which don't chinese know how to people have been knowing that korean's been coming over here you know what I'm saying? again beauty stores like they don't even you know why use though? the supplies you know why? but they know who the consumers are we're just talking about why Arabs got liquor store in every corner of the black. Look on Washington, all this street. This I man been here for like nine him. years. Mm-hmm. Every time I go in there, he looks like he's scared when he's by himself. Yeah. Because I'm a black man. Mm-hmm. But this is the only man on Washington who had did business with me. I done been to all these stores. You know? Next door, he sell my incense and air, air fresheners. They're scared. But all these places I've been, you know? like, would y'all sell my air fresh for instance? I got concentrate. I work a deal out for you. Right. And see, but to get back to that subject, you know, for polygamy, I feel like in America, it would cure a lot if people open their mind. Why? Because if you got a whole bunch of people willing to share, but for one thought, this is the family structure, right? You open up a whole different perspective. And I'm just being real. Now it becomes about family. Not time man, but the kids and a woman. Because in like a successful political, I mean, Polygamy household. The women's are really the queen. They're the one running shit. Right. You just a provider as a male and you just you know keep it. It's like a lion tribe, for example, right? The females are doing the hunting. Mm-hmm. They're raising the kids. The men are just there to hunt peace for all and fight when it's time to fight. Right. There's a social, you know what I'm saying? There's levels to things. Right. Like even with the new domestic violence thing going on, I'm a victim of it, so I learned a lot of you know, I learned a lot about it, right? Most white women never go to court against a white male in America. Because mm-hmm. the prosecutor are quick to drop the charges. Mm-hmm. But as a black female they tell her, I will subpoena you. If you don't come, I'm gonna prosecute you for not coming. Right. Right. So either way you got more show serious, up. right. You know? Right. It just it's levels to this. Now there's a proverb saying everybody heard it before. It takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. So I feel like I believe in if that. there's polygamy, it will be a village. 
Yeah, but in America, with so much sex craze, it's hard for the man's ego, especially the black man, to really be able to focus on family without thinking about the sex. Because women is big breasts, long blonde hair. See, you know what I mean? I it's like a, I think that's that's an excuse. Though. We've all heard a few racial jokes. I mean, African men are sex crazy. Oh wow! They're sexual animals. What? I mean, I grew up in a sexually. I was okay. I was a mama's boy, right? I already developed my sexuality at an early age because uh -huh. I kept my head in, you know, in books, blah blah this and this. Until I came to America, I was pressured to have sexual attraction in oh, middle school. Because oh all everybody kept God. talking about. Yeah. You know, oh my God. Booty this, booty that, yeah. clap this, clap that. You gotta get a little, little freak. You know what I'm saying? This, this, oh like that. Oh my God. Then I grew up now, and it's like. Like I just told you before you like start recording, like I, I'm not even the type of man to get down with a threesome. But sex is spiritual, not physical. Right. You really have to be able to like differentiate the two. Right. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta be able to educate people. If something is done responsibly, there's no problem on it. As black people got that in us is actual. Everything now, all of our problem now is because the black person in America is trying to coexist with a system that was not made for the African American. Thank you. It's not us. I know that's right. It's yeah. not for us naturally, yes, scientifically, I whatever know you want to put it out. It's yeah. not our battle, so we gotta find our own way. Right. We gotta find our own platform to navigate in. Right. And now you're about to leave huh. and go back. Yeah, I got to. I got to. Even then, I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna feel caged. Cause see, in America, you gotta deal with what? I don't even know how to put this uh, in a proper talk. In America, you have to deal with systematic slavery. In Africa, you have to deal with European imperialism, which is even worse. Because at least a black American got an excuse, right? They've been slaves for like 400 years. Right. Right. Why is an African male? And Singapore. And most African countries now, all African countries still bound down to European imperialism. We talk about West Africa, in particular, where I'm from. Well, beside my country, none of them African countries in Ghana, Ghana's the two. Beside those two countries, none of these Western African countries got their own currency. So it's not natural, even in Africa, it's not natural for the black men to be operating in the central banking system. So it was not it's meant not to be anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Huh. Sort of every man for themselves. Yeah. You'll see bicyclists with families on board. You'll see best friends um, leaving. I think it's uh, very scary things. Yeah. Like Are you getting a haircut? Are you no. Gonna... Well, it's crazy, man. Yeah, I'm going to get a haircut. Like my mom didn't get into a car until she was in Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Me, the woman, I feel like African American woman. I mean, really down for, for black parents in America. But why they say the African American woman? Because they're the most one being infiltrated. Because the white men were watching our power structure. And the welfare system being beneficial to the female make her feel empowered. So she could have said, like, I don't need no man. Fuck that nigga. All I need is my baby. Excuse me. I'm going to Excuse me, can I ask you a question? You're a woman, I'm a woman. Um, are your parents African-American, black, like descendants of slaves? Okay, uh, what do you think about polygamy? What is it called, big love? Okay, do you, would you like to be one of them wives? One of the wives. <laughs> Look, I'm tapping this I don't even know him, but it's interesting how us, the black women in the in the United States, how do you feel like your man is yours? Like you're not sharing him. We're not playing that. Okay, but it's like we're breaking our families. It seems like what we're breaking our families. I guess by being selfish. No. no, 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 I don't agree with that at all. I'm using different words, but you're saying we we will flourish better. It's better for our community if the we were to. Was, I came from a polygamy household, right? Like five generations. West Africa, and I'm Muslim, right? Yeah, but from seeing, growing up, I was totally against it because I'm a mama's boy, actually. 
Yeah. But as you know, coming to America just realized it's so. And I was like, polygamy will be a better solution to keep American families structured together. Because when polygamy works, see, if polygamy works in a power structure like family as one, right? Nobody sell. Naturally, everybody gets jealous. Yeah. But when you pra- see, when you practice, those are your, I'm sorry to say, but those are Europeans. You know, it's hell because they still have a worse mind frame, so they probably did it out of love for their man. Mormons. That's what I always heard, though. That's what I'm seeing. Even the people who's for polygamy, years of study have shown they're not happy. That's what I'm like. I'm that my mom is not happy. I'm real. I mean, yeah, yeah, go back on that. Okay, so I want to you said the pimp game. Even in the pimp game I just saw that my mom been married for twenty plus years. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. My daddy got four wives. My, yeah, 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 yeah. my, my grandpa got five. So did his grandpa have five? So did his dad. Now that's why I said he told me it's one country that exists like that. What country is that? Bangladesh. So I'm gonna have to go to Bangladesh so I can like be that one. You know what I mean? You know, but you know, I want to help my community in I'll the end. I think that you, as a person, you probably haven't figured it out yet. I don't know you will order them, so I'm not telling you what kind of woman you are. You be more than happy to pull it in this house up. What the heck? Oh my gosh! You haven't so met funny. a strong man yet. I'm sorry. I don't like the shit. I don't know. I'm very Americanized with that yeah, Sharon thing. But you actually Afrocentric too. So for real. Yeah, alpha I am black male. I don't black like showing male, sexual stuff, though. That's the thing old with me. Alpha black male really come to you that you are attracted to naturally and really break everything down to you. Without even. Because sex is a tag. you using sex as a taboo, right? Without really breaking, like you worry about the sexual part, but really just breaking the thing down spiritually as a cause. I think you would fall for it. What? I, I don't think so. Because Maybe I'm not. too psyched. You know, you got to have a certain psych for that. You know, a yeah. psych like your mindset. Yeah. Right? So if you got a mindset on like, this is mine, all mine, oh my gosh, nobody's going to get this man, then that's different than like, this is mine, but for the community, we're going to share this man. Yeah. Like, for instance, if Are I would have had, if I would have. What's up, no, my media, Aaron Lamar? Business. I'm with my Mm-hmm. I see this nigga right here with his backpack on. That nigga walk to the back of the shop. Mm-hmm. Get on stealing, right? So I'm gonna phone family. So I'm gonna phone family. Anybody? 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 Anybody?